Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this chess tutorial tutorial, we will learn about the uh, before each. So this is a very important feature of the chess, and we will learn it from the very scratch with example. All right. So now the first question is that what is the before each? All right. So sometime in the when you just write the test cases, you need a function that should be run before every test case because your test cases are dependent on it. All right or you can say that this provide the initial value to your test case so how you can just run these things all right so now let's start with the example so i'm just going to make a three file one for let's say sum.js which is our normal functional file and sum dot test.js this is our test case file and let's say we have one more file which should be run uh, its test cases or uh, this functionality should be run before your test cases so let's say i'm just going to make the file name with the common dot js all right so just write a function with the sum and uh, it will just provide some return value like uh, 10 plus 10 it can be just also come from the parameter but we are just learning from for the before it so we can just make it simple right so now we can just uh, export it module dot export and and let's run the uh, export the sum function here right so same thing we can do with the a common function so we can just write here some common it's not required that your file and the function name should be same you can just make anything but whatever you want like this so like so now to run this test case is just uh, write the test case inside the sum those test file so just take the two cones like sum and here require a file like this and here we can just put the name is uh, sum because we just want to export the sum function all right the same thing we can also export the common one and it will be just come from the common file right from this so now let's just write a test case with the test as you know that test okay guys if you don't know about how actually just is working then you can watch our previous videos link is given in the description box all right so just write here uh, um, test function you have the two pair uh, two parameters one is the string so just write here uh, testing some function right something like that and as you know in the second parameter this is a callback function just write here expect and in the expect we can just run the sum function and the out will be 2 p and the output should be like <coughs> uh, 30 so we can just put here 30 here like this all right so let's try to run it first of all so whenever I'm just going to running it then this is passing so let's say I just want to make some run some functionality before it so that I can just use the before each right and in the before each it will take a, a callback function and here I can just console dot one common function all right common okay this is a common function like this and in this common function I can just make something like uh, initial data is here right something like this so now try to run this functionality when you just run it you will see that uh, it will just provide a console with the initial data is here all right so is it really running before every function so for the testing we can just make it some copy of this function like this and this all right so we can just make here two and three now let's try how many times this is uh, console is printing here now you can see that we have the three console here three test cases that are run run here function function two and function three and three 
uh, console are locked here all right so no, you can see that this is how it's actually working so if you still any kind of uh, assistance you can ask me in the comment box and thanks for watching this video bye bye take care